So today I'm talking with someone who we've uh, nicknamed Dr. Yes We Can. Uh, she did her PhD in my lab and brilliantly uh, defended uh, her thesis. She's now living for the United States and I catch her just in time for her to tell us uh, what she did uh, when she was a student in the lab. Uh, yes, for my PhD I was working on emissions from land cover change using Panama as a case study trying to uh, estimate emissions and removals from land cover change. Uh, I noticed that there, the data available in, in the country were accompanied by error. I noticed there's always different ways of representing this data mathematically. So it was uh, important for me to uh, put some time and effort to understand better uncertainties accompanying these uh, emissions and removals from land cover change. To estimate emissions from land cover change, we need to use maps, and these maps are made by, of a mosaic of satellite uh, images that are uh, often contaminated by clouds. So to make one map, we have often images from different years. So when we compare two maps, different area will have different time interval between the different uh, images. To estimate emission from land cover change, we need to know how much carbon is present in the forest. So we need to weigh in the forest. To do that, we normally would have to cut it and weigh it but we want to conserve the forest, so it's not an option. So we have to develop uh, equations that allow us to relate these measurements on the ground to biomass. And these equations will propagate error. There is also error in the measurements. So at the end of the day, we're, it's one of the major source of error in estimating emissions from land cover change. So my work uh, provided a diagnostic of the main sources of error and uncertainty accompanying emissions from land cover change. Uh, so it can be used by countries to uh, improve precision and accuracy of their emission reduction uh, in order to, uh, to participate in a carbon market and, uh, in the future.